Good morning, everyone. Today is a big day. It's annual, brand new annual catalog day, May 2nd. Today, 2023, I am Corinne Braxton coming to you from Bozeman, Montana. And it is a beautiful day today. It's about 60 degrees right now, supposed to get up to in the 70s. So we have just come back from uh, Mexico. Our daughter, Sarah, lives in Sayulita and her husband and three kids. Hey, Gail, good to see you watching this morning. Tell us where you're watching from to what states you're coming from. And uh, let's see once if we're going to find anything on my iPad. It always takes out a while. So I'm glad I'm glad someone found me, Gail. Um, anyway, be sure you all uh, click the um, subscribe, click the bell if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate that. Um, just follow, share. Hey, Linda, good to see you. Oh, Wyoming. Okay, good. Um, and Linda, you're in Bozeman here. So good to see you girls. So just keep chatting for a minute. Thumbs up are always appreciated. Hearts, all those things. It helps others find us. So we had a wonderful trip to um, Mexico. We got home last night. I am, I was really tired. My husband doesn't ever get tired. He's, he's like, doesn't even affect him. Every time I get in an airplane, um, I'm tired when I get home. So it, that air just tires me out or something, but it was a wonderful trip. We saw our grandkids and got to spend some time with them and it was really fun. We stayed at a resort near near where Sarah and Andre live and um then they came over and spent a couple days with us too over there. So they got to we got to do some fun pool kind of activities and it was just great. Um it's getting warm in Mexico so uh Sarah and Andre will be probably coming either to Montana or Wyoming for a little bit this this summer. So we'll see them again. Um, anyway, oh, good morning, Martina. It is a beautiful day, isn't it? So again, just a reminder, share, thumbs up, do all those things. So let ring the bell, all those things. Let us let you know that I'm going to be live and, and it tells Facebook too. So thank you so much. I hope that today many of you will be ordering from the new annual catalog. It will be a busy shipping day for stamping up. Um, they have lots of help coming in and extra help to prepare for this big exciting event, the launch of the new catalog. This goes for an entire year. It will go until the end of next April. So this, now we can even show you the inside, the beautiful inside. And I guess what I should have done was found the pages where the uh, the stamps and things. I didn't do that. I I was sort of, I I don't know. I've been a little bit scatterbrained about this this video this morning. I did. I prepared all this a week ago before I left, and then last night I was like a zombie. Um, but here I found something that's pretty close to where we are. And so anyway, there's some wonderful new stamp sets. There's a lot of stamps that are carrying over from the last catalog, the mini catalog, and from the last annual, but we have tons of new paper, new colors. We have uh, uh, the brand new colors, the boho blue, the uh, pebble path. I know these are all backwards to you. This is wild wheat. Moody Mauve and Copper Clay. These are the colors. I can show them to you this way too. We're not using one of these today. We're using um, some of the new core colors. So um, I wore an air. This is the close. We're going to do a card with Azure. Hey, Carla. Good to see you this morning too. Um, and I so like I had a perfect Azure blouse, but I wore it on vacation and it was totally dirty. And uh, it was a a silk kind of a blouse that I sent to the cleaners today. But anyway, it was a perfect azure, but I, this is the closest I could come to azure that I have. So we are going to start, and um, so let's turn. Hey, Munch, good to see you this morning. Well, before I turn the camera down, I'm going to just show you one more thing. This paper pumpkin uh, kit that's coming out in May. This is is going to be the new colors, the new in colors. So it show you can sort of see the picture of the box right there. 
and it's going to make nine cards and it has a copper clay stamping spot. And then there's also something new that we didn't know about. Um, I always like it when they do an add-on and this time they've done an add-on for that paper pumpkin. You can still get it um, if you're a, a paper pumpkin subscriber and I, I already ordered some this morning. You get, it's a card and envelope add-on. You get 18 cards, six of each three designs and they have coordinating envelopes and all the beautiful colors. And so for 18 cards and 18 envelopes, it's $10. And um, it's their cards are four and a quarter by eight and a half. So that's perfect. Anyway, if you're interested in those, let me know. If you would like to get the kits, you can get the one month kit. I also order uh, several. And then um, I, sell, I cash and carry those too, as those are, those are possible. So that is something that's coming. That's sort of fun. I was I was excited about that. Hi, Karen. Good to see you this morning, too. Oh, I'm glad to see so many of you. Carolyn Williams, are you now, Carolyn, are you still in Georgia? Or have you moved to Montana for the summer? We're having beautiful weather now. So, um, And I still have a package for you, too, Carolyn. So when you do get back to Montana, I'll, I have it here. All right, we're going to do a fun technique today. It's a pinwheel technique. And... Um, I don't, I haven't done one of these for probably 15 years and I revisited, Karen Titus did a really good video on it and I loved, I love, I like her videos and I practice doing these and they're really easy. So we're going to start and I'm going to flip the camera down. So keep talking amongst yourself, say hi, comment, thumbs up, hearts, all those things, share. I always appreciate shares and anyone who shops. Okay, turn your, close your eyes while I flip this over. Okay, I'm gonna get straighten things out a little bit here. Oops, the camera's falling. We're going to tighten up that little knob right there. Okay, I've got a little See if I can get things straightened out. I just, these are just cards to help me um, focus. So let's see if we still, I still haven't found myself on the iPad. Let's see what, so it's going to be a little tricky until it pops up, until we have a few more people. This is just some of that beautiful daisy paper. Um, I showed you these beautiful circles. Again, I would really recommend, um, uh, if you though any of the punches in the catalog, they tend to run out before others. So um, here's one card. This one, I wanted to remind you, this one is a swap card. This one was done by LeVon Schwendeman. It's a really, it looks complicated to me. Um, maybe it's not, I don't know. And it pulls up, but it's with that irresistible blooms. And I wanted to show you this one because this paper and the stamps and the dies are all back in stock. They were out for a while. They ran out. They were so popular. And um, anyway, it's uh, it's back in stock, so it's available now. That paper is gorgeous. So, okay, we're going to start. Uh, I'm just going to check my iPad one more time and see if we can find. Still don't see myself here. Um, okay, I'm going to put that aside. We're going to work on the first card. And um, hopefully it'll pop in there sometime. So we're going to make a card similar to this. It's going to be slightly different. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I've got, we're doing different cards than the one I, but it's just slightly different. So, um, okay, I'm gonna put the, hey Jeannie, good to see you. I'm gonna switch my light around here. There we go. So, okay. And this is the new May host code. G-W-W-K-E-J-V-6. If you're ordering with me, if your order is less than 150, I sure appreciate you using the host code. That's how I get my, a lot of my little free gifts that I send to people. So this is the first card we're going to make. And we're going to do it. It's, we've, I've done book binding, binding cards before like this. I love them. They're just easy as can be. And, but then we're going to do this pinwheel on here. And it's not hard. I will have all these measurements. I will put all the measurements on the Facebook Live, and then I'll put them also under the more 
on in YouTube. So we're gonna we're gonna change this up. We're gonna do it on white this time. So we're going to take our. I'll just uh, let's see once here. I'll just show you. Oh, I guess I've done all these already. I, I was going to score and show you how I did that, but um, looks like I have done that already. Sorry about that. Anyway, you get. You're, it's just a regular four and a quarter by 11, so a long card, and I scored it at five and a half, and then at four and a quarter, and I glued that down. I sh I'll show you this on another card, too. So, and I scored it at five and a half plus another four and a quarter. When you do this four and a quarter, it makes a perfect, you take off that quarter of an inch, then you get a perfect square, and that's what I've done here. Um, let's see, I've got bits and pieces coming out all over the place. Um, let's see once here. I'm just trying to see if we can get, oops, I'm sorry about that. I'm just seeing if I could refresh my screen. No, it's not doing that. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I, and the other one I did the, oh, here, this is what, I'll just show you this. So it's a regular card like this, four and a quarter. And then you're going to put adhesive on that part. With, and I like to use my stronger adhesive, my plus. And I do it real gently on that. And then I close it up. And there we have it. There we have our binding. That's just like a regular book. And But we're going to do the white one today, okay? Just to see, to give you a little variation in things. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping. And uh, we're going to come in with, let me see if I can find my little things where I have things written on them for you. Here it is, four and a quarter. No, this is, so this is going to be a four and a quarter space. We're going to put a, the azure blue is four by four. And then on top of that, we're going to put a white. This is going to go on just like that. So that one's three and three fourths. So I've just gone down in increments of three of, of a fourth inch. So let's do our stamping. If you want to take a screenshot of that, I've got a little heart that's die cut. I'm going to be using this stamp set, Wonderful Thoughts. It is uh, we've been able to, we were able to pre-order this one. It's really neat. It's got the uh, it's sort of like it's similar to another one in the catalog from last year where. It cuts out the words, so these are the words, and then this is the frame to go with it. And it also has flowers and has two hearts, and I that's where I cut the heart from too. So, but it's a really nice set. Um, I like it a lot. I've used it a couple times already, and it's a good one. Okay, let's bring in our Azure ink, and we're going to do a little stamping on. We're just going to do a tiny bit of stamping on that. This ink, it's, I love my new ink pads. They're always so nice. Here we go. And we're going to do, um, you are so kind. Oop, I think I'm gonna need my little um, piercing mat. There we go. You are so kind. I'm just gonna do this right along the very edge of the bottom. You are so kind, it's very juicy. And then let's, um, let's bring in our Let's put, um, let me see once here, my little inside. And this is going to be my inside piece. So we're going to stamp on that. We're going to put a little flower on like that. And I really appreciate you. We're going to put that right there. And you are so kind. It's just a nice, I really appreciate you. It's a, and then this is going to be the mat for the inside of the card. So I'm going to, let's stamp a, uh, let's stamp a little bit of a flower on our envelope too. So I've got bits and pieces coming out everywhere. So we're going to just do this right here on the edge like that. And that'll be all we need. And close that up so we don't get it, our arms in it. <clears throat> it's a beautiful color. Um, it looks like the the Caribbean or uh, any place like that. I'm gonna put my stamps right there so I don't lose sight of, lose track of those. Okay, and now we'll get my, bring in our silicone mat. And let's see if I can find all of our pieces here. 
I'm going to put Hey, Mary Ellen, good to see you from Montana. Where do you live in Montana? Um, let's put, now I'm back to my regular seal. And hi, Colleen, good to see you watching today too. I'm sure appreciate you tuning in. I know it takes a little time to find us all. And, um, but be sure you share, you thumbs up, like, all those things are really good. I did a, uh, this is a, a, a strip that's one by four and a quarter. That's going to be for the, right there. I think we'll do it, in, we'll do polka dots this time. So it's just a, it's just a scrap actually. So I'm going to change these up a little bit. So this is the book binding. And then, um. We're going to, you're going to need two of these. These are two by five and an eighth. So five and an eighth is just right past the half inch. So we are going to stamp, put this on like that. We're just gonna build these things and get these out of the way. And then we're gonna do the pinwheel. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So. This one's going to be slightly different than this is going to be the inside of our card. You wouldn't, you could actually stamp right on there. You don't need this extra mat, but sometimes just the little edge is nice. And, you know, you could punch out something too, because that does get covered up. This is just, I think an eighth is what I did. So this is three and a half by three and a half. And then I did a um, an eighth inch above that for my for my azure blue. Beautiful color, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, now we're ready for our pinwheel. So what you're going to do, I'm going to just set that aside. We're going to need some uh, little strips. There's some little squares like this that I've done. And I, well, you need eight of those. So there's my little paper. You need eight of those. I, and two, four of each pattern. They're one and a quarter by one and a fourth. Now, some of you might have a punch from a long time ago. We used to have a one and a quarter inch punch, but that was just ages about ages ago. I, I still have mine, but I don't know where it is. So um, it's, I think it's been packed. I, it's been packed away. I found my, my, it finally came up on my iPad, took all that time. Uh, so now I can see your comments too. So, oh, good. Um, so now what we're going to do is bring in my grid paper, and you can use any kind of um, scale paper that you have, the Stamping Up grid paper. This is from the Stamparatus. Um, what I'm going to do, I took, so you take two squares that are two and five eighths, and you don't have to do this on the grid, but it sure helps. What I did was draw a, a template like this. I, what I did was go here is my, um, so this was the center line right there. You want your points to line up on the, on the grid. So I put it like that, and then I put some adhesive on it, and then I go the opposite direction. And that keeps the points nice and straight. So then that's, I'm gonna save this with my, in my templates, so we'll set that aside. You know, you don't have to do that, but it just is a great way of of making it work, I think, making it look good. So we've got our little squares, and I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on each of these. We're going to change it up. Let's see what I did on the last one. Oops, my hand sanitizer is right there. It's a... Let's see, on my other one, I did... I used these designer papers, like this. And, um, but we're gonna change it up this time a little bit, I think. Oh, I don't know, we'll see. We could either do polka dots or like that. I think we'll try it, we'll try that. I don't know how that'll look. We'll see, we'll give it a shot and um, we'll just start out and we'll, we'll see how it looks. Let me just test it first. We're going to, um, it'll be just fine. Okay, so we're going to, now I don't cover this whole thing with adhesive. What I do is I just put 
a little bit on one corner. And then I start, I start at the top. I leave a little edge like that. Hey, Sunny, good to see you this morning too. Okay, let's see, my camera's falling down there a little bit, but let's see if I can tighten this up one more time. Oops. I shouldn't have touched it. Should not have touched that. I was trying to make it zoom in a little bit more there. Oh, I'll just change that, okay. There we go, okay. So now we're gonna put a striped one on. I'm gonna turn it over. I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on one corner and I'm gonna just go to the next one like this to the point. And then I'm, I'm letting them just loose like that. Then I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna cover that one up. And I'm gonna do another stripe. Down here, do another piece right there. I'm going to cover this one like this. And you're just taking, you're just doing every other one. You could use your liquid glue. You don't want to do the whole thing just because, whoop, wrong, wrong way here. I did the wrong one. Let's see how, let's see once we're going to put, um, there we go. You're all probably saying, oh, don't do that. Now I'm going to have to get my uh, adhesive eraser and get that off. It does, you, can, you can rub it off. So your fingers are the adhesive eraser. What a mess now, huh? Okay, it, it'll be all right, though. There we go. Okay, and now this one, we're going to do the, the little hearts again. And... and the heart one is, doesn't make any difference with the pattern. Now on this one, we want the stripes up again. It's going to put a little bit on the corner. And now watch this. I'm going to tuck this one under. See how it's loose? These are. I'm going to just tuck it in like that. And there it is. All finished. Just like that. And then I can take... You don't have to worry so much about what's in the middle. You can put gems in there. I'm going to put this heart in here like that. We're going to put... Um, couple dimensionals on there and then our card will be almost finished it's fast it's easier than it looks there we go and there is our piece and now we can put it on here like this you are so kind oh I didn't leave enough room really I did um maybe we'll see if I can I think we'll do, I think I'll take my heart off for now. And you can, um, so on this one, I had the points going up and down. I think maybe on this one, we'll change it. So it's like this, so my words can show. We'll do, we'll, we can do that. And then I'll put the heart on. Some things like around. There we go. We're going to put it like sort of cattywampus. But like that, I think. I like it the other way better, but we'll just because of the words right there, and then we're just gonna put it on like that. It just doesn't make any difference. And there is our card, all finished with the. This is the other one. What do you? Hey Sue, good to see you this morning. Glad you could be watching. Um, we'll put a few uh, gems on. I think we're going to use some of the iridescent, iridescent rhinestones that are carrying over. They're, they've been very popular, of course, and um, we're going to put a big one right here in the middle of our heart, and I think we'll put some smaller ones up here. You can use your take your pick tool. There, um, there we go. This paper is part of the, uh, the designer series paper. I should have told you that. So which one of these do you like better? Do you like the one with the azure background? or the white background. They're totally different, aren't they? And here's our envelope. There's the envelope, and we're gonna put this out of, get this out of the way. Um, this is, 
called, what is this called? It's from the Brights Designer Paper. The Brights. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that, Gail. Thank you, Martina. Um, they're really fun to make. And this is, this comes in all these colors. Look at, oh, isn't that pretty? That Coastal Cabana looks like. These are all, and that's the Azure, the Azure Blue. So, okay, there's that card. What, both the Azure background, you said, Jeannie. What are some of the rest of you saying? Both. So cute one. Okay, great. So that's our first card. We're going to do another one, and it's going to get easier and easier. So I don't know. I it's uh, you have you have T P T Carla um doing dry needling. Oh, I'm I sure hope that helps you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a good physical therapy. Um, anyway, there we go. Like this. That's the first card, and now the second one we're going to do in some pinks. We're going to use the. Uh, Beautiful balloons. This is the uh, stamp set and the dies like this. This makes this is sort of a fun set. I haven't done a lot with it yet. This um, piece makes it like a accordion folded. Also make can make slits, so it's just really nice. We're going to be using this stamp though um, and die set. Also, let's see. We're going to bring in our pieces. This one we're going to we're going to do in pinks and this is the one I did ahead of time last week before I left for Mexico. It's a little light. This is the bubble bath pink, a brand new one. Hey Angel, glad to see you this morning. Um, and it's just too light so I think that it's a great color and the designer paper is Let's see here, it's right here. This is what it looks like. I've got a piece, um, it comes like this and it's all very, lots of colors that are, lots of colors that are coming back or par as part of the core. You can see some of these. But this pink, I just love those little pink dots, those bubble bath. But, I, but so this time we're gonna try something different. We're going to, um, we're going to add some berry burst to the mix. And so we have, we're going to make the same, do the same thing. And this time we're going to put a balloon in the middle. So like that. Oops, that's just a little extra piece, I think. Okay, so let's put that aside. And we have our pieces. Um, this is our, this is our card for in a quarter by 11. I don't know what happened to that little thing, but it's, I had one. And and now we're going to uh, fold this back and do our binding. Oh, I almost went too hard with it. I have to be really careful. I, I'm pretty fast stamping and I have to be careful with it, the plus because it will tear the paper if I go too hard on it. Press hard. There's our binding and it's that easy. We're going to put a piece of, this is the berry burst and then this is the, uh, the bubble bath and it's four by four. So like this, I think this is going to be pretty and it's a little darker ink too. So, and then we're going to, I already, uh, I love embossing folders and this is the cane weave and I've already embossed it. It's three and three fourths by three and three fourths. Put that right there, just going down a little notch. So I'm going to actually put my adhesive right on here because I don't, it's just, I like to do it that way. Most people don't, but. Um, I like this so it doesn't tear my embossing, my embossed paper. So there we have it. And now we have two pieces that we're going to use for the pinwheel. These two pieces are, we have two, I have two and five A's. I also did some pink ones. I don't know. We'll see. I think, I think the darker is a little better. We'll try that this time. So. Okay, we're going to just move that right there out of my way. And now we're going to come in. Let's see, let's, let's do our, maybe we should do some stamping first. Um, this is probably going to go on the, on here. And then we needed some, we needed some, some pieces, eight of these little squares that are one and a fourth. So we have some that are going to be solid. And then some are going to be polka dot like that. So we're going to do a little of each. Um, let's see once we'll just
just put that right there. We're going to put our, bring in our, let's do our stamping first. We're, I got paper clips everywhere. Um, let's see, we're gonna, I've got a little balloon already punched out. I thought I was going to do two balloons. Oh, there's the other one inside there. And a little tail also. I want to do two because I want to try one in, um, we'll do one in berry and one in, in the, uh, bubble bath, okay? So we're going to use the bubble bath one first. These are photopolymer stamps, so it's really easy to see on. And usually when I do it this way, I will just um, put it right directly on my piercing mat and I can go over it. It's so much faster to die cut several pieces. I'm going to just redo that one a little bit. I can't quite put, I don't want to put my head over. You don't want to see my hair. Okay, that's the pink one. And let's do it now in berry burst and see what that looks like. So the berry burst is a lot darker. I don't even need to clean my stamp on that one. Yeah. Well, we'll you can tell me at the end. We'll we'll decide. Um, I think we will definitely stamp with uh, our our inside pieces. We're, are going to be definitely going to be the berry burst with our words. So I don't have a. Uh, let's see where did I put the uh, the inside piece. The inside piece, where are we have pieces? I have things all over here. The small little area has to, um, let's see what's here. Well, let's see, here's one right there. So we're gonna do that on the inside and we're going to say, uh, this is, uh, I think it's time for a celebration. Like that. Ooh, that's nice and dark, isn't it? And then we're going to do a happy birthday right below it, like that. We do, we're not putting anything on the front of the card this time, except for the balloon. So that's, we're done stamping. And let's put our pieces together now. We're going to make our pinwheel. This is going to be, um, we're going to put our polka dot side up. I'm so happy that um, I'm so happy you girls chat among you amongst yourself and talk to each other. Tell us where you're from and what's happening in your life. That that's really nice, and I always appreciate you sharing the video and thumbs up and all those things too. There we go. This is I think that's a nice bright color for a birthday celebration. Okay, now we're ready to do our our pin pinwheel that's going to go on here like this. It's going to go on like that. Only we're going to use our grid to make sure it's perfect. There is, um, I'm going to get that all wet. Let me get my grid back here, my template. So we're going to put one piece on. I'm just going to line it up. I just, just grid paper works so nicely to do this. Some of you might have done something like this on the Stamparatus too. At one time, I we did this a long time ago when the first Stamparatus came out, we did something similar too. Okay, well, that's gonna come off and there is our piece, just like that. Now we're gonna put our little squares on. These are one and a quarter, one and one fourth by one and a fourth. So we're gonna just do, remember, we're just going to do a little bit of a, we're just going to do a corner of it. We don't need much, just to, just to keep it in place. And we're going to do the, uh, it's going to be a little confusing. It's the same paper, but I'm just turning it over. So this one is like that. How's that looking? Okay. And then this one. You just, this is, this is a great fun technique to use with scraps. So, or, you know, designer paper, you don't need much. So I like this darker color. What do you think? Do you think you like that bubble bath better or the uh, berry burst? I like the combination of the two. Eh? For a while, I thought maybe um, the, what was I going to say? Oh, I was thinking the, the one we had carried over. Um, the purplish one might work. Can't think of the name of it right now. 
But, um, you know what I'm talking about. The one that was, a, it's still, it was an in color last year and it carried over. So there we have that. Now we're coming to the very last one, which is the solid. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive right there. And now watch this carefully. So I'm gonna just, I've got my adhesive up here. I'm gonna just slide it underneath there like that. And there we have the pinwheel, just like that. Hey, Sally, glad you're watching. Where are you from? Tell us where you're from. I love to, I always go back and read all the comments, and I always like to know where you're, where you're tuning in from. Okay, this should work just fine. And there we, we're going to put this down like that. Um, when you, later on, you can certainly go back. It takes me about an hour to photograph and get the directions all uploaded, downloaded, everything else that has to be done. There's our card so far. Now, you tell me. Get ready, ladies. Do you like the pink balloon? Or do you like the berry burst balloon? And it's going to have a tail on it, like this. So this is the tail. And then that, that's die cut. What do you think? From Wichita. Oh, my husband used to, when we, long time ago, when he had a, he had a, playground manufacturing business and he used to always go to Wichita, Kansas to do all of his catalogs and um, he later sold the company to the to Little Tykes but anyway he, he went to Wichita all the time and we have some friends there which do you like better the berry berry everyone's saying berry 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 okay we're going to do berry for sure we'll just save those pieces for another one and um Put a couple uh, dimensionals right there and put that on just like that. Isn't that fun? And let's see once we could put some ribbon. This is the uh, this carried over. This is the metallic. This is sweet sorbet. This we could put on right here on this. I think we could do that. Just tie it on. I am going to um, see once if I can tie a knot here. Oh goodness, it's always tricky to do bows and knots on camera. It's there we go. Okay, I'm going to um, bring in this ribbon scissors and give it a little snip, and we'll tie a little bow here. I think it gives it just a little pizzazz. I was glad this ribbon tie this carried over. Um, this is, this metallic ribbon is nice, except I sort of shredded it right there. Um, you can like that. What's, what's sort of fun about this too, is you can, you can take it and you can, you can make it come apart and like, like a spider web almost. There we go. And there is our card. Needs a few gems. And we're going to put some pink ones on. I think from this is from these. They're the ones from the catalog that carried over. We have um, that Azure probably. That's not Azure, but we don't have any gems. There are going to, there are gems. And I ordered some this morning, but they obviously I just ordered this morning. So, but these were in the catalog before and they're carrying over too. So I think we'll put some of these on and we'll put some, uh, they come in, in the big ones and the smaller ones. We'll put a couple of these on like that. Maybe even a couple more. Oops. I don't like that one right there. I'm gonna put that one way up there on the top. There we go. There's our card all finished. And let's take a look at the other one. And you tell me which do you like better? Do you like the bubble bath on the right or the berry burst on the left? Totally different cards. This one I did, I pointed it up and down. This one I changed it because I put the words right there in the corner. Yay you, but I didn't, I could have done that. But I embossed it, so I like the embossing. Which card do you like? Oh, thank you so much, Sally. Appreciate that. Which one do you like better? Um, do you like the bubble bath or the berry burst? They both have the bubble bath color in them. But um, anyway, that's that card. And 
I will put that aside and I have one more card here to show you and then we'll be finished but we don't I don't think I need to do another one but this one is fun the same papers from that balloon specialty package I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out what that is called um, that paper is the designer paper it's so wonderful we can um, open the catalog now so this designer paper is right here where is it right here it's called bright and beautiful it's six by six and it is 1250 and the number is 161449 it's on page 129 so um and ladies as you're ordering today and tomorrow make sure that you um you get your, your especially things that are metal, like the, the dies and the punches, those things sell out so quickly and it takes a while for them to come back. So this is the card I use with the same papers, but just a different color. This is the uh, Lemon Lime Crush. So it's another one. I don't have any um, gems on it yet, but I think we could put this, um, we could put these on, the iridescent, ones. I think they would work just great on that. I've got sort of a lot going on here. I've got a couple packages of these opened and we'll put a, we're going to put a nice side, nice big one right there in the middle. That's maybe, we'll put a couple smaller ones right here on this corner and another one right there. So we have three. There we go. And maybe it could use a ribbon too. I don't know. Um, let's see what's it. We could, we could even use that same ribbon right through there. It would be pretty, but you get it. I think it's that's a great idea to put the ribbon on there. So I'll do that. And um, thank you. So oh, yeah, rainbow colors. Yes. Oh, thank you, Mary. Mary Ellen and Jeannie. I appreciate that. Okay, let's flip the camera. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. Okay, and we are down back to the front. I've tightened this up so now I can't get it undone. It's so funny. Oh, yeah, the colors are bright and nice, aren't they? There we go. Oh, goodness, there. Uh, I'm so, hmm. Anyway, so today is the day you can order, and I hope that many of you will, will do that if you're, you know, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to help you be one if you don't have a catalog. Um, thank you, Gail, I'm glad you like, oh, oh, thank you, Munch, thank you. Thank you, Michelle, oh, Miko, Miko is, is that your last name? Michelle Miko, right? I know, Michelle, you've ordered from me, I appreciate that. Thank you for the thumbs up, the hearts, I appreciate you watching, sharing this with your friends, you can go back. I will. Now you'll see the video, you can go back and watch it for replay. And if you wanna make a pinwheel card, you can just pause the video too. And I, it'll take me 45 minutes to an hour to get the directions up there and the pictures and things like that. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this fun and easy pinwheel card technique. Alrighty, thanks so much and I will see you next Tuesday. All right, bye-bye.